Yeah, we definitely went off the rails with this. I'm I'm not ready for this stuff. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Master Go, and in today's video, we are gonna be deep diving into the artist known as Pablo of SB19. This is Pablo's La Luna music video and Casual Chuck's video, what nobody understands about Pablo of SB19. All right, so this is actually from a live stream that I hosted a couple weeks back. And this had to have been the most chaotic live stream that I have ever hosted in my entire career. And I was having so much fun with it, guys. It was great. Everybody was going wild with the recommendations. We were originally supposed to be getting into at least a handful of all of the what nobody understands about videos, but it turned out to being, let's check out every music video, let's check out any just random thing that we've seen. And it was just, it was off the rails. But. What we did end up doing is we did check out Pablo's La Luna and you'll see here in this reaction that I really didn't get a clear understanding. I was more scared than anything. And then as we dive into Casual Chuck's video, that's when I actually key in and I understand exactly a little bit, at least a little bit more about Pablo and what Pablo goes through in his writing career. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and ring that bell notification so that you can be notified for the next SB19 video. All right, back into the chaos. Let's do it. No, 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 no. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Pablo's La Luna official music video. Okay. This, is, this has been pretty crazy, okay? So we're going to get into this one, and then from there, we will get into About Pablo. Uh, I am gonna, I'm going to shelf the Ken video. So it's going to be La Luna, and then what nobody understands about Pablo. Okay? These are the, these are the last videos. Okay? <laughs> I, know, I know you guys. I know you guys want it, but let's just, let's just save... Let's just save a little bit. Let's 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 marinate in this, okay? Let's marinate in this. <laughs> let's have some fun with it, okay? So, this video here, La Luna by Pablo, the official music video was uploaded 2 years ago and has a staggering 3.3 million views. So, let's check out La Luna. That means I am home. Got no room for visitors. It'd be best if y'all leave me alone. Hey, go away. I'd be rude if I ask you to stay. Cause I'm gonna pray right before I try to eat my prey. You know what they say. Who cares what they say? Don't invade my space. Cause if you do, then I'll leave you like what you don't. Not okay. Siguro nga panahon na para ako'y magising. Harapin na tiyakapin tunay na ako'y magiging. Okay, this is this is crazy, man. Holy moly. This is like the 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 background sound of like this kind of like the piano like uh instrumental is like really really like popping in the back here while you're so like dialed in in this conversation between him and himself. That's insane. I'm gonna pray right before I try to eat my prey. You know what they say. Who cares what they say? Don't invade my space, cause if you do, then I'll leave you like what you don't. Not okay. Siguro nga panahon na para ako'y magising. Harapin na tiyakapin, tunay na ako'y magiging. Alamin mga bagay na makakaya kong gawin. Kapag ang takot at kinakatakutan ko'y ako rin. Guys, saan magpuntay bigay? Oh, I 
fuck? These boys are dark, man. Holy shit. Okay, these guys. Oh my god. Oh. Lira, hello. Welcome. You finally made a live. I'm usually a sleeper on this time, but my phone is calling me to check. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. This is so insane. Like the production. Okay, production on all of the solos that we've seen so far. The two. <laughs> the two solos that we've seen so far between Josh and Pablo. Um, my God, like so intense and everything about them is just so hardcore. Like, this is what I'm loving about SB19 right now is just like how hard these guys go. Like you can have like the regular kind of just chill and very like nice and very meaningful, uh, ballads. But when it comes to the boys and like expressing themselves, they're fucking vicious, hey? Oh my god. No, I did not forget about Ken, but I haven't seen the music video for Ken yet. So, <laughs> I thank god I'm only sticking to just, like, so far, Josh and Pablo's music videos, because I, uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm out of water. This is, I, like, I'm, like, seriously, like, scared. <laughs> like, this is, th you guys were right. This is intense, man. This is, this is too intense. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> for real. Yeah, we definitely went off the rails with this. I'm, I'm not ready for this stuff. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Uh, we are gonna, we're gonna finish off with casual checks what nobody understands about pablo of sb19 but i do appreciate everybody's enthusiasm and everybody's craziness here tonight um you guys are something else <laughs> but for to now for tonight we are going to do exactly what this live stream was originally supposed to be about we are going to go on to what nobody understands about pablo of sb19 from casual chuck this video was uploaded one year ago and it has 138,000 views. So let's do it. Let's see what Casual Chuck has to offer for us and let's learn about Pablo. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh no, 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 not again, not again. <laughs> I spoiled them, I know, I know. Oh my god, not again. It's okay to make mistakes, yeah. but don't. 
Sino ang pinakamatagal mag-ayos? Ay! I did unspeakable things talaga. Everybody would love a taste of Pablo's life, having his own family business and the utmost respect from his co-members and fans. Pablo's life seems perfect, yet the truth is completely different. Mm. Not too long ago, he has been put in the shadows even though his role with SB19 is supposed to be significant. There were moments that his work wasn't even acknowledged. He is also seen as the member who is the strongest personality which most people don't understand. But I'm telling you, Pablo's story is a revelation because it proves otherwise and you're about to hear it. So sit back and enjoy mm. because it's going to be a heck of a ride. We're doing it. Well, it's already been a heck of a ride, Chuck. What are you talking about? It's been so crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. Gian Paolo Nase was born and raised in Imus Cavite. He's the second born child along with two sisters and two brothers. Their mom took care of them while their dad provided for them financially from overseas. Pablo grew up as a shy kid who tends to space out and because of that, he sometimes wandered off of their pack when they were outside. There was a time when their family was in the mall and he suddenly went missing. Ugh. They panicked for a little bit only to find him urinating on a plant in the corner. There was also another time as when you he would. fell into the canal. Pablo's childhood was never boring because he was surrounded by a loving family. As a teenager, Pablo was very active in sports. In fact, he made it to his high school's varsity basketball team playing the point guard position. Behind the scenes, his passion for music got ignited when he found the hip-hop artists like Eminem, Glock9, G-Dragon, Looney, and NF. This is when oh, he started NF. writing- Oh, shit, really? NF? We, uh, we learned about NF, actually. It got ignited when he found the Just, uh, we, we randomly came across NF- I think it was uh, when John Reeves Live came into the chat, and uh, and I think he requested NF, I believe. Or we we showed him NF. I can't remember. Of artists like Eminem, Glock 9, G- Glock 9. This G-Dragon guy yeah, looks fucking sick, actually. Dragon, Looney, and NF. This is when he started writing songs in secret as an outlet for his emotions. He kept the dream of performing to himself because of his shy attitude. Most families in the Philippines believe that going overseas will set you up for life, and Pablo's family wasn't a stranger to that. Mm. He initially took up accountancy in college because the job was in demand abroad, but he immediately regretted it and felt that the course wasn't for him. Oh god, why did you have to do that to the phone, man? He loved writing songs and wanted to get better at it, so he decided to shift his course to a Bachelor of Arts in English. This is when he started learning about poetry and different types of literature which definitely played a big role in the future. In his senior year, his younger siblings started going to college as well and their family's income was no longer enough to keep them all in school. So he started working as a call center agent at night while studying in the morning. Oh, he worked man, a full that's night tough. hour shift and also full time in school. Honestly, I couldn't imagine how he survived all that but he did. He got his bachelor's degree in English and according to some sources, if only he wasn't a shifter, he would have graduated cum laude. He's a smart dude for sure and also a responsible one. He was so responsible that after graduating, he immediately went to work as a data analyst for a real estate company to help provide for his family. Oh my goodness. It was a stressful job but he was able to cope by watching his favorite K-dramas. From then on, everything was smooth sailing until the big what if started bothering him. Deep inside, he had this unfinished business of making music. So one day, he decided to follow his passion while keeping his full-time job. He started that that is like instant instantly that is like the hardest thing uh imaginable is like working a full-time job but then also having some sort of passion behind it. It is so difficult to really like oh man to just do all of that. It's it's a lot. It's really a lot. And and you know, you feel so drained mentally and physically at the end of the day. And then to just like to to follow those passions and stuff, it's it's tough. And especially when you hit those setbacks too. When when the setbacks happen, then it's like, oh man, like 
I wish that today would have gone better and then you feel like second doubts and stuff and it's just like it's tough so it's it's not an easy task and for him to be able to like do all of that while still being able to like follow a passion man started joining rap battles and competitions as a soloist he initially wanted to use seize mike as a screen name which has a double entendre for seismic but he never managed to share it because he is a shy dude so he always ended up telling his real name instead to this day, that screen name remained to be in Pablo's username on his social media accounts. If oh. you want to know more about the meaning of it, check out the video I made about it. Link in the description. You can also join the highest tier oh. membership if you want to support me and also be credited as one of the executive producers. Going oh, nice. <laughs> back, Pablo kept competing despite not winning until one fateful night when Miss Honganda of Show BT found him in a contest. Ah, she yes. offered to train him as a solo artist but ended up becoming the leader of the boy group that would end up rewriting Filipino music history. I always gotta try to like remind myself of like the different names and stuff too. It's it's like I, I know them of like who they are kind of thing, but yeah. They underwent a Korean training style that is mm -hmm. notorious for pushing trainees to their absolute limits. Pablo reached a Good point morning. that it became too difficult for him that he had to choose between his job and the training. Realizing that he was only half step in, he decided to go all in. By and that right there is your key defining moment when when you when you decide that moment of going all in is like the most it's the most scary, but it is also the most um, freeing in a person's life. It's something that I, I hope to eventually someday feel. <laughs> to feel like just pushing all of those chips out there and just saying, that's it. This is where I'm going. Mm. It's a beautiful thought. Quitting his job. He told his mom about it, and as expected, his decision was questioned. Oh. But she didn't stop him from chasing his dreams. With his job gone, comes <laughs> no income. Life became so hard for Pablo that he had to skip meals and sleep in their camp just to extend his remaining. See, and that right there, like, that's where the hardest... Because it's like... Like, on the relatable side of things, for my side of it, it's like... There is a house. There is a family. There are f mouths to feed. And to just... To escape that... To escape work... <sighs> Fuck. Like, it just... To be able to do something for yourself, to make something for yourself, you have to make sacrifice. And it's just like, what, what are you willing to sacrifice to get to that position? How much can, like, and then that's when the self-doubt comes into play, right? How much do you believe in yourself? How much does, how, how far does it go? How far do you believe in yourself to be able to make those steps? And that's what Pablo did. He, he, he took all of that, all of those thoughts of how much he could lose and he put it out on the table to do what he was able to do that's powerful that is very powerful meaning money for commuting back home every few days because his home was miles away in order to survive yeah. he performed in different korean events with his group called php which was also composed of other show bt trainees this went on for three years fast forward to 2018 SB19 was formed and they debuted with a song called Tila Luha, which was written yeah. by none other than Pablo. This was the song that was supposed to capture the hearts of the Filipino people. But sadly, barely yeah. anyone cared about it. The same thing happened to their second single, Go Up. I, and I love Go Up so much, man. It was supposed to be the time when he could tell his parents that he has finally made it. But instead, it became the reason why he started to question himself. This was a major blow to his oh Pablo yes. confidence. So he shut himself Fuck. off from the public and did some quote unquote unspeakable things. If it wasn't for George and Pablo's faith in God, he wouldn't be here today. This was also around the time when he wrote the song La Luna, which exactly described the situation he was in. It's so wild. 
I told you. I, I okay. So this. Oh my god. So this is this is exactly why I reacted the way I did to La Luna, is because I don't have a fucking clue at the time of what Pablo's going through, and then now I'm seeing this. And then I'm like, okay, so now it makes sense. And th this is why I'll, I'll have to revisit La Luna another time to, to really, really understand his meaning behind that. Wow. Oh my God. I can't believe that we've got like as off the rails as this did go. Somehow it's tied back to itself. And that's incredible to me. Knowing that his recent song actually came from several years back and there's no telling how many he's already done because he describes himself as someone who always writes music. When the Go Up Dance Practice video was uploaded, their popularity snowballed. A follow-up song was released called Alab which was also written by him but the fans noticed that something was wrong. Pablo's name was nowhere to be found in the credits and when the movie Game Boys was released, SB19's Hanggang Suhuli was the original soundtrack, and it happened again. Twitter fans went ballistic, and there was even a movement that encouraged everyone to mass email Show BT just to give him the credit he deserved. Thankfully, it was heard. If it wasn't for 18, maybe Pablo wouldn't have gotten the music royalties he has now. Wow. So, what exactly is it that people don't understand about Pablo? Most people would say it's his sassy attitude, but I beg to disagree. <laughs> We learned in his story that he's arguably the most introverted person in this group and still perfectly described it in this clip. We we seen this in the in the um in the story of SB19 too. And now this this is tying into itself now too. Some fans and I I didn't I didn't think about that at the time on how meaningful that that like Stell talking about him like that was because of how like kind of like recluse he was to the idea of like trying so so in his mind so everything is happening he's put all of his chips in and he's there and he's now in his own head. This is where the weird aspect comes into play, right? Is because you're in your head and you're trying to work out all of the bells and whistles and everything that goes along with everything and trying to make it so then that way there you can provide for yourself and provide for your family. And so trusting in himself to be able to sit there and just kind of be within his own noise to make it and to work it out to make it happen is incredible. During their training days, he was just getting two to three hours of sleep. He worked 3 a.m. to 12 p.m., then trained 1 to 10 p.m., sometimes till 12 midnight. Plus, he had to travel uh, to uh, Kavet, Kavet, Kavit, uh, PA. Uh, he still gave time to help co-trainees. Man. Even him also think that he's the worst dancer among them, but... His co-members think otherwise. I'm really bad at memorizing steps. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really bad. So I take dancer. extra time. But you're a good dancer. Dancer. Really? Yeah. He doesn't even tell us that he can backflip. He's also a gamer. He even used his favorite video game character as an inspiration for one of his songs. Talk about oh, a Witcher? game changer. Most people think he's a poet, but he describes himself more as a bard who tells his stories through his music. Music that transcends generations and is backed up by recognition. The winner of this season of the Juki Music Awards is Pablo. Congratulations. Wow, Pablo. <laughs> what the heck is going on there? Winner <laughs> of the Composer of the Year Award goes to John Paolo Nasi. Congratulations. He can sing, he can rap. He can shoot, he can pop, he can play, he can snap, he can flip, and he can't stop. Pablo's mind is a race, and he's always five steps ahead of us. He does what he does because he strives for perfection, which brings us to the most misunderstood thing about him, his reputation as a genius. 
Sometimes it makes me wonder, why does Pablo keep on asking this question? Why us? Why are, why are we here right now? The answer for me is the lesson I learned from his story. I learned that the person performs better when there's no safety net. He had no plan B. Pablo gave up everything and decided to go all in by focusing on getting better at his craft. Oh man. Okay, so that's that's right. That's it right there, isn't it? Is that's the that's the the very tone of exactly what Okay, as a okay, as amazing as how this stream went today off the rails it has all kind of dialed back right to the very beginning of today's stream about that idea of what I've said before when it comes to SB19 on my personal level. It's that um, getting outside of your comfort zone. Pablo is the extreme version of that because like, like, oh my God, Chuck, exactly how Chuck said it is that you have to remove the safety net to be able to go that extra mile. And that safety net is this this idea of just like of of oh, okay <laughs> okay this is heavy shit right here but this is Pablo telling us that the only way that we can succeed for ourselves is to break away from that idea that you're going to have something to fall back on. And that's scary. That's a very scary thought. That is a very intense thought. That is like, that's some next level shit that like a lot of people are not prepared to hit. Like they're, they're not prepared to go that extra mile. And, it, and it's, it's a very scary thing to think about, but it's so freeing and it's so intense. Um, at the same time, that has a lot of, precautions that still have to be put into play because what Paul, uh, what Chuck was saying was that uh, to strive for that perfection, right? So the perfection of it is <sighs> the perfection of it is that perfection sometimes really gets to a person in a negative manner. Um, when you're always trying to strive, and this is something that I've learned from my own personal experience, that that drive for personal, um, uh, perfection can sometimes lead to a very unhealthy state and, uh, and, and to, and to live in that unhealthy state of always having this feeling of perfection when everybody around us can see such greatness in our own minds we get stuck in this idea of a perfect body, a perfect mind, a perfect soul, a perfect reaction, a perfect movement, a perfect, like everything. And, um, and, and that can really weigh down on a person. So always remember that no matter what you're trying to do to strive for your personal greatnesses is to, is to always just make sure that you're doing it in a very healthy way. You know, you take that exciting risk and you take that exciting push to to push yourself into something else. But always remember that there is also people here, especially within this community, that can help you get out of your own head, too. So just always, always have that mindset. <sighs> He believed that failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So he made the world his library to become the best version of himself and be Oh, that, that line right there. Focusing on getting better at his craft. He believed that failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Right there, exactly. <laughs> right there is perfectly said. Perfectly said right there. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And that's, and to me that, that, that idea is that it's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not say the right things, do the right things. Nobody is perfect and we can only do so much, but we always have to just 
constantly grow and constantly work on our crafts to become better and to be able to to just get to that next level so he made the world his library to become the best version of himself and became the guy who worked while others slept the guy who learned while others partied the guy who led while others followed the guy who lived like others only dreamed of mm. a leader has the capacity to translate vision into reality and that's the answer to Pablo's why wow Chuck did it again man Always have a plan B. Wow. That was... That was something else. That was something else. Wow. Oh, I know. Exactly. Exactly. I... Man, this, this live stream has been one of the most intense I have... I have ever experienced. <laughs> I know I know the mods have uh have really been really getting in there with you guys. Uh I appreciate you guys uh definitely uh listening to them. <laughs> and honestly, wow. That was just that was incredible, wasn't it? <laughs>